Hello, my name is Michelle Woodward. I'm the Communications and Outreach Manager at the Betsy Lehman Center for Patient Safety. I'm here with Dr. Meng Yun Lin, lead author of Differences in Patient Outcomes After Outpatient Gastrointestinal Endoscopy Across Settings, a statewide matched cohort study. Meng Yun, welcome. Would you like to start by introducing yourself? Yeah, sure. Hello, Michelle, and hello, everyone. Uh, I am Meng Wing Ning. Uh, I am an assistant professor at uh, Wake Forest School of Medicine, uh, Winston Salem in North Carolina. Can you give us a brief overview of the article and why you decided to study this topic? Our study um, exam um, on plane hospital visit following a GI endoscopy performed in either um, hospital outpatient departments or ambulatory surgical centers. And uh, we think it's important to uh, examine patient outcome across settings because uh, they are increasing number of outpatient procedure that was performed in uh, ASC uh, settings. However, uh, unlike hospitals, ASC are, are, regular, are loosely uh, regulated. So for example, they are now required to uh, report um, quality data to um, the Center of uh, Medicare and the Medicaid services. So uh, we don't really know whether um, quality or patient outcome are actually comparable between uh, the two settings. So um, there are a few uh, prior studies that look at this issue but most of them uh, either use um, provider self-reporting the data or uh, similar focus on experience of a single facility. So we felt uh, there is an urgent need to um, do a comprehensive evaluation of patient safety uh, following um, outpatient GI endoscopy across settings. And what conclusions were you able to draw from your study? Uh, uh, we found that uh, unplanned uh, hospital visit following GI uh, endoscopy performed in either uh, hospital setting or ASC are not uncommon. And we also found a huge variation in uh, unplanned hospital rates across facilities. And most importantly, um, we found that um, patient outcome um, at um, ASC are generally comparable to uh, hospital uh, outpatient uh, department. We found that um, the unplanned hospital visit rate is slightly lower uh, among uh, ASCs, which suggests that uh, GI um, endoscopy could be safely performed in ASC for select patients. How does this study shed light on patient safety issues in ambulatory surgery centers during this COVID era? Well, we could expect that uh, there will be even more outpatient procedure to be performed in uh, ASC settings because people will like to avoid the hospitals for potential infections. So in that case, uh, our study could be the uh, benchmark or the foundation about the patient safety in GI endoscopies performed in uh, ASC uh, settings. What do you see as coming next? Um, what should come after the study? What do we need to know more about? I would like to emphasize that um, the uh, favorable outcome we observed um, in ASC, in our study, uh, um, many contributed to uh, lower patient uh, complexity and the technical complexity. So that means uh, during the study period, providers are um, cautious about uh, selecting a proper patient to receive uh, GI endoscopies in uh, ASC settings. So um, when ASC um, expand their uh, services line, at some point they are likely to take, uh, they are likely to perform procedures among uh, patients who are at a high risk for uh, adverse outcome. Therefore, uh, future research show uh, exam, or future research show a uh, re-exam um, patient safety across settings, and also. Um, 
researchers should uh, expand investigation to other uh, quality measures. So for example, they should uh, examine uh, polar detection rate and uh, colonoscopy diagnosis rate across the city. And um, as a scrutiny about uh, ASC quality um, increase, state and uh, uh, federal regulatory agencies should consider uh, developing a, a surveillance program to proactively uh, monitor um, patient outcomes um, of uh, outpatient procedure performed in ASCs. Well, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you doing this important research and sitting down to talk with me. Thank you for having me. And it was nice to um, share the study uh, with the UO. I will also like to mention that this is a, a collaboration with uh, Legacy Demon Center in Boston, Massachusetts.